By the end of this video, you should be able to add multiple subtitles to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. And please take a note that this is in Adobe Premiere Pro version 23.1 and beyond. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So I do have a video uh, that I'm going to use. It's right here somewhere here. Let's just drag and drop it right there. And then we can just make a sequence from this particular video. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop the subtitle I want to use. I have two subtitles. One is in English, the other one is in Arabic. And the reason for this is that the English subtitle is, uh, or English is written from left to right, and Arabic is written from right to left. So I hope that makes sense. So let's begin with the English one. Just drag and drop it there. And then what we can do, let's maximize this, is just drag and drop it right inside there. And the caption dialog box is going to pop up and we have the option to set the format. It's a subtitle and the start point is source time code. Now this is really awesome because this subtitle has already been timed. So click OK and the subtitle is going to populate right inside here. So the number one thing I always do is select your subtitles, control A by clicking here and then change the size of the subtitle, let's say something like 44. And now we have a bigger subtitle, uh, not as big as probably you'd want it, but this is uh, at least a good size. Next up, we want to add an extra subtitle. So when you add an extra subtitle in Adobe Premiere Pro, one subtitle will not show, but we want to solve that. So if I right click here on the subtitle track, click on add track, and then it's a subtitle, click OK. So the English subtitle is going to be disabled. Now let's go and pick our Arabic subtitle and drop it there. Next up, we'll just uh, drag and drop it into the timeline here. But one thing I'll need to do, I'll need to zoom in slightly because the second subtitle, that is the Arabic one in this case, although it is timed, will not have the source time code applied. So if I just take it, I can place it anywhere, but I want to match it to what is available here. Somewhere right about, right about there. So, and let go. So this coincides with the subtitle below. But if you notice, uh, one thing is that now this subtitle is turned off. And if I actually turn this on, the Arabic subtitle is going to be turned off. So let's begin by uh, doing the changes that we want right inside here. We want the Arabic subtitle to be a little bit bigger as well. So we'll need to make a quick selection for this. Click inside one subtitle, control A or command A on a Mac, and then maybe change the size to 44 as well. So once we do that, we'll see that the subtitle gets a little bit bigger right inside here. Now, the second step is to make sure that both subtitles are visible at any one go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the English one and then make sure I can see all the contents, just select. And once I do that, you'll see that they are going to highlight on this side, go to graphics and titles, up, upgrade caption to graphic, and these captions are going to drop down into a normal video track. So that's really awesome. And if I can actually just pull this down slightly and then re-enable this, we now have two subtitles available, the English and Arabic, and you can see them somewhere there. So the next thing we need to do now is change the positioning, that is the vertical position of maybe the Arabic subtitle. So I can just select it all. And then we can just move this to the left slightly negative and you can see the subtitle that is moving up, but we don't want it to go all the way up. We want it to be somewhere, maybe somewhere like there. That's good. And then because we're dealing with a right to left uh, language that is Arabic and the typing is usually from right to left, then we'll need to change this. And because we already have it highlighted, there's this particular button here, right to left typing. If I click on it, please take a note of this. 
everything is going to be now from right to left. The punctuations are in the right order and so on and so forth. So that looks really good. What we can do, maybe we may change this to maybe a yellow. And click OK. I believe it is visible somewhere there. You can add a stroke if you want. Uh, really depends on what you want. You can actually add a background if you want. And set the percentages uh, for the background and uh, whatever you feel you need for that. So that's just tinkering a uh, around with that. Uh, but as far as we are concerned, we now have our two subtitles available for us in the same uh, video. So for example, if I actually play this, YouTube interface. It's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com. So the one thing I'd like you to know is that you can easily do this using the upgrade captions to graphic option. Uh, maybe a point to note is that ensure that when you're doing these subtitles that they are one liners so that they're not too long for people to see or have too much content for somebody to read such that they don't get to enjoy the video that they're watching. But simply put, that is how you can add and show multiple subtitles to a video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Just a quick note, you'll need to ban in the subtitles to the video for both of them to be available for your viewers. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.